we'll dive in into the Kenya Fishery School. Mm -hmm. We have a Kenya Fishery School in Sagana. Yes. The school, we have already gotten a, a certification from the TVET institution mm -hmm. to be able to make it more accommodative mm -hmm. for even the youths within that space. Mm -hmm. In this space, you'll be able to learn about uh, fishing and you'll be able to also learn about uh, aquaculture. Mm -hmm. One of the components that the youth also can uh, dive in is the element of archeries. We have already certified over 80 archeries across the country. Mm -hmm. This is areas whereby you can be able to sell the broodstock. Yeah. That is the fingerlings that you can be able to use. In brood stock is the... The brood stock is the... The fingerlings, the basically. Fingerlings. The ah, fingerlings okay. that you can be able to use in the aquaculture business. Uh -huh. So you can either venture in a archery owner, whereby you can be supplying fingerlings to the farmers. Mm -hmm. That's one of the areas you can be able to look into. Mm -hmm. You can also venture into aquaponics, whereby aquaponics is whereby you do aquaculture, but the water that you use can be used in hydroponics, that is vegetables or vegetation and so on. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that we have already been able to do research on mm -hmm. and they have been very successful. So to the youth of this country, fishing is a very big business mm -hmm. and they can be able to explore that. Mm -hmm. And the centers of excellence that I mentioned that will be complete in the next one year, mm -hmm. especially for the one in Kisumu and the one in uh, Kuala Shimoni, will be able to enroll our youths or anybody who is interested within the fisheries sector to yes. be able to learn a lot about this business. Mm. So that either you can do it either at home for home consumption or you can do it as a small scale mm -hmm. and so on and uh, so forth. We also have a program that we focus basically on the youths. There's a program we are doing with uh, aquaculture business development that is IFAD and this program covers 15 counties. Mm -hmm in the Luo Nyanza region and western, mm -hmm. and also in the eastern and central region. We have been able to train very many youths and very many young, also women, and also people with disability in yeah. the fishery sector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's also another program that is funded by World Bank. We are also training and doing capacity building within the space of the coastal region. Mm -hmm. This program, we have trained over 20,000 groups of people that have also benefited mm -hmm. from even grants to start business within the aquaculture space mm -hmm. or the fishery space. And you remember I mentioned that uh, His Excellency the President was able to issue mm -hmm. grants worth 1.5 billion mm -hmm. last year to these groups. This year we'll also be issuing other grants mm -hmm. to these groups mm -hmm. and also we'll be issuing grants to also groups within also the Lake region, the mm -hmm. Mount Kenya region, the Eastern region. All we need to do as the youths of this country, mm -hmm. all entrepreneurs who want to do aquaculture or fish farming, I just write proposals and you'll receive a grant. Mm. Yes. Okay. Um, the uh, component of Blue Economy, of course, earlier on, uh, you had mentioned tourism, culture, and leisure. Mm -hmm. Talk to us now about the aspect, this aspect of tourism, mm -hmm. um, culture, and leisure. In a nutshell, what does it entail in terms of exploring? Of course, there is the um, issue of the tourists you've seen and talked about, but um, demystify that for us and the opportunities that lie, especially for the youth as well. Okay, thank you for that question. Mm -hmm. Look at it like this. You'd love to take a cruise from Mombasa to Lamu or to Kilifi. Yes. That is one venture within the blue space. Oh. That is tourism. Mm -hmm. You just take a cruise for a number of days. Instead of all the time people driving from uh, Mombasa to Malindi mm -hmm. or to Diani, mm -hmm. take a cruise. So these are the components within the blue space we can be able to explore. Mm -hmm. The sports fishing. It's very, very high in the county of Lamu. Mm -hmm. they, have, they do spot fishing whereby a group of fishermen in various uh, boats, they, they just compete and they bring their catch and they sell within that community. And it's very, very recruitive. They even catch the legs of tuna within that space. So it's quite interesting. Look at uh, various restaurants that have been built within the mangrove space in Kilifi, mm. in Lamu. 
that is blue economy and it's tourism and they have been generating a lot of capital mm -hmm. and a lot of employment and grants and also support from the community and also international markets. Market, tourists, yes. tourists really love going to those spaces. Mm -hmm. So those are the elements that within the tourism space we can be able to explore. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be going all the time to, to sleep in uh, the island hotels in Mombasa. Just tour the coastal region, tour the Lake region, mm -hmm. take a cruise from uh, Kisumu to Omabe mm -hmm. and enjoy the